This segment of News 25 is brought to you by Valley Electric and its family of companies focused on serving our members. We're better together. Distribution poles can be found all along your roads and neighborhoods, bringing power into homes and businesses. To keep the system working properly, we regularly inspect our lines and occasionally find a few poles that need to be replaced. If a pole needs to be replaced, we do our best to keep members in service while we get the job done. So, how many linemen does it take to change a pole? First, let's look at why poles need periodic replacement. Weather disasters like lightning, storms, hurricanes, and earthquakes can cause major and immediate damage. Car crashes, equipment changes, and highway relocation are also reasons why a pole may need to be replaced. But even poles that don't suffer major damage will lose some of their strength after being subjected to the elements over the years. When a pole needs changing, line crews take several steps. First, they must carefully measure and dig a hole, typically next to the old pole, that is about 15% of the new pole's height. For example, a 35-foot pole requires a hole that is at least five and a quarter feet deep. Second, the new pole must be fitted with bolts, cross arms, insulators, ground wires, and arm braces. Third, line crews must carefully use their tools and safety equipment to detach power lines from the old pole. Next, the new pole is carefully raised, guided into position, and set. Then, the new pole is backfilled and tamped, or packed. Electric lines are then carefully moved and attached to the new pole's insulators with tie wires or clamps. Once all live lines are securely in place, the crew detaches equipment from the old pole and removes it, leaving the new pole to do its new job. So, how many linemen does it take to change a pole? As many as needed to make sure you get safe, reliable, affordable power.